Okay, so I'm gonna work on a cake topper from Design Space. So you guys can see the only way it can be done for now. So I'm just picking my elements. Let me go and get a number two, for example. Mm. Oh, let's just pick book. It's Big John. I think it's book something. Let's use this one. Oh, I know. I don't like that. Let's do this one. Storybook. That's more sweet. Okay, and let's say that this is pink. Let's say we're going to put it here. Send to back. Maybe over here. And then let's pick a name. Let's use my name. And let's, let's do the same font. I like it. So she's going to be down here, also in pink. Let's see if we can find a banner. Maybe we can use this one. Let's see. Contour. I'm going to hide all. No, can't. Let's find another one. Yeah, here's one. So I'm going to delete this, delete this, and use contour, hide all, and then I send it to the back. But then I want the llama in the back. I want this in the back, this in the back. There, I like that. So, what we can do, once you have your, your cake topper created, let's save this. Everything in position how you want it. You're going to grab it all. Let me group it. And I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to hide it. Now you're gonna grab it all, and you're gonna hit weld, right? Let me go to contour. Hide all. So right now we have this is the exact same. If I bring the one that I hide and I place it on the top, it's like a background, but it's not bigger. We want something bigger. So what we do is we have to start taking pictures off the screen. Capture. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Go ahead and upload it. Clean it. Let me check and preview if my edges are nice. Yes, they are. Okay, continue. Save it as a cut image. Pick it. This is the same thing I did here, you see? For this 50 plus 1. So you bring it in. Let me make this smaller. And if we put this one on top, just so, so you can see how it's starting to show. 
center front you see it's starting to show a little bit bigger but we want more so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process take a picture erase it load load image it's gonna be the second one clean it continue save it as a cut image upload it let me put it back to five so you guys can see how it's looking so far There we go, a little bit more. I tried to do this like five times. You can do it way more. Capture, and let's keep going. It's just a repeat, you have to repeat the process. On, I'm gonna do it two more times. Insert image. Capture. Complex. Okay, you see how this has like a little thing here? I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm, I mean, this is the last time I'm gonna do it, or it's gonna start getting too. And I'm gonna leave this square full. Okay, so I think this is the last one. So let me bring it in, change it to a 5, I'm going to change it to, nine. let's do a purple so you can guys see, then send to front, and there you go, there's your shadow. Of course you can always click on it and make it bigger and because it has the same basic shape it should look good there you go for example let me make this bigger so you can see there you go that's how you make your shadow box for a cake topper